What's up guys, it's Zed and this is episode 16 of the FIFA 22 Creative Club career mode with Zilla FC and we're starting this episode off with the match against Manchester City. If you guys missed last episode, you should definitely go check it out along with the previous episodes before this one because the series actually promises to be a really good one. We are in the third season and we have two, three, three pieces of silverware so far. That's the EFL Championship Trophy and then the... FA Cup that we won last season and then the Community Shield for this season. What we're going to be able to do in this season, if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys after this match. Really exciting game. Well, there's been a boatload of speculation surrounding him ahead of the game, playing against his old club, and I wonder what's going through his mind, Stuart. Well, he shouldn't approach this differently to any other game. He's just got to forget the crowd and go out and play. And so the match is underway. In possession here. Will it happen for them? Oh, breezing past him. Devoe. Zaid. Well, visionary passing. And it goes! An early opening stage. Celebrations. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Well, the stats show us that the hosts haven't had that much of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Oh, what an opportunity. And the keeper stretching to deny him. It's a short corner. Eduardo Camavinga. Still possibilities. So the whistle then, we're at the halfway. What? In this How the hell does stuff like that even happen? Come on, like, the ref could have just left the attack for the freaking last second. I mean, he literally blew it because I was about to score that goal. So we actually going into the into the like half time one nil instead of two nil. That sucks to be honest. So the second half underway, and no doubt about it, City with work ahead of them. Well, they fancy a short one. A lot of talk in the newspapers and on the internet about Leicester City, and they have finally got their man. Derek, big moment, this. Tries to lift it. Oh, football finesse at its very best. You can't argue with that finish. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then just look at the finish, Derek. Just entices the keeper in, and it's a lovely little thing to deceive him. Fantastic goal and superb finish. And just a quick reminder, more live football coming your way here on EA TV. I think you might enjoy this game. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Real chance. There it is. The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, the clearance, half-hearted. Rodri. And keeping it out. Playing it in. Well, couldn't get it past that first defender. Fifteen minutes left for play. And he's in. Well, he clearly wants to complete his hat-trick, Stuart. Well, he's been fantastic. He dealt with the threat first. 
Mason Greenwood. Foden. Well, good effort, but he's placed it wide. Ocampos. And this could pose problems for the defenders. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Super stop. And he keeps going. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat trick. Well, here it is again. What a ball that is over the top of the defence. It's weighted perfectly, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. And there it is, the final whistle. And the final right, so... You guys saw that hat trick coming. I saw that hat trick coming. Manchester City saw that hat trick coming. And most importantly, Zaid saw that hat trick coming. So that was a really, really good match that we uh, played here right now. We are able to beat Manchester United, M Manchester City, sorry, in our home finally. And well, are we going to be like, are we on for winning the league right now? Like, are we really on for winning the league? I hope we are. And well, it's going to be a really, really fun, fun season. Okay, so here's the crazy thing. Brentford just offered 90 million for Alfonso Davies, and I'm really, really shocked that Brentford have 90 freaking million. <laughs> that is so crazy and so funny. I'm rejecting it either way. All right, next up is the match against Leeds United. I'm going to be simming this one as usual, and I really, really, I'm really expecting us to win this match. And we do. Zaid scored again. So that's um, he has scored in all the matches we've played this season other than the community shield, but in the Premier League, he has scored in all matches. And that puts him at the highest scorer in the Premier League again. And I'm actually really, really curious to see if he will beat, if he will beat the, um, what's it called, the competition record this season, because he was really close. I didn't check how many goals he scored last season because I actually forgot. I have no idea why I didn't do that. But, I mean, let's just hope he's able to reach that 32-goal mark this season all right so the next match is against aston villa we're going to be saying that and we're also going to be playing the match against napoli and maybe we'll play the csk moscow match if there's time but i mean we're probably just going to only play the napoli match and then sim all the way to the crystal palace match then we'll play the one against csk moscow in the next episode all right, so it's the match against Aston Villa. Let's see if we're going to be able to grab the win. I mean, there shouldn't really be a problem with us winning this match. And no, we actually draw it. Greenwood got the goal and Ings scored in the fourth minute. Wow, that was a really, really early goal for Aston Villa. Now, this is going to be our very first match in the Champions League. This is going to be the very first match that the Godzilla Arena is going to be hosting a, Champion League, a Champions League match. And this is actually really crazy. It's actually, we have, got, we have come a long, long way from where we started in the Championship. And, well, this should, be, this should be something that we are looking forward to and we have to win this match. This is our first, this is the first team we are playing outside of the, outside of England. And... It's against Napoli, so let's see how we'll be able to do in this match. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's the Blades up against Napoli. Well, the first game of the group is so vital, you just can't get off to a losing start. This could be a tight battle today, Derek.
It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. So glancing at the table, and I must say, when the teams came out of the various pots for the Champions League draw, this was the one that stood out straight away. What a riveting game this promises to be. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Eduardo Camavinga. Clattered away. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, oh, wait, Stewart, they might score! A goal to give them a 1-0 lead! An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say! Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Veghorst. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Into the advanced position. Cutting the ball back. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, let's have another look at this, because he does really well to pick the right pass here. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. DeVoe. Oh, the threat is there. What a powerful effort, but just wide. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close. Plenty of room for the Blades' attack. Well, visionary passing. A goal! They're absolutely racing away with this. Three to the good now. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as... And now, Stones. Well, there's been a lot of speculation as regards this transfer and whether it would go ahead. It's finally been confirmed, Stuart. Oh, Derek, can he finish it here? Can they stop it going in? Devoe Zaid He takes aim Full credit, wonderful stop And a short corner here Decent position Happy to take on the shot well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful This save. one, I think, might pique your curiosity. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. And he takes on the shot, and just narrowly wide in the end. Well, just a minute to go. A real opening now. A goal! Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. So, full-time it is, and a morale-boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with the three points, but now they have to back it up in the next game. Six points and you're halfway there. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.
All right, that was in fact the last goal, sorry, the last game of this episode, or rather the last game I'm playing of this episode. And Foden did get a brace in that match, and that is actually really nice. It's a very, very good signing. I'm actually happy that we actually brought him into the team. Then for goals, we have Karim Zaid up top by 11. We have no Rivera here to actually um, rival him for top goals in the squad, but Foden is right behind. Foden is right behind him with five goals, then Greenwood is there as well. All right, so it's the match against Arsenal, and I'm really going to be hoping that we win this. I'm going to um, use the interactive sim, and this shouldn't really be a hard match for us to win, unless they got some crazy good players. I actually don't see anyone there that can cause problems. Maybe apart from Ben Yedda, but then our defense is pretty solid, so let's see what we can do. And that's the first goal for Phil Foden, and this is what I'm looking for. We are definitely going to destroy Arsenal in this match. I hope. I hope nothing else goes back, goes wrong. Yeah, and they do get level. Sambi Lokonga scored for them, and yeah, yeah, things are getting pretty, pretty tense now. So let's hope that we can actually do something in this match and get that win back. I get the goal back. Sorry. Okay, that was a very good goal for Phil Foden. That is the second goal that he's scoring in this match. And we've re-established the advantage and we just have to keep going and win this match. And that was a very, very good save from Tovartin and the defenders. They did really well in the box there and were able to concede that last goal. Okay, so Sami Lokonga scored their second goal again, and, well, come on guys, we just have to win this match. If by the 75th minute, uh, nothing has really happened or anything, I'm going to have to jump into the match and play it. But let's hope we can do something here. No, we don't. But, we actually come back and Greenwood gets the goal. With his left foot, very, very good strike, and 60, 60 minutes, and we just have to keep this. We're, I wasn't really expecting us to be fighting with Arsenal. Yeah, Greenwood's so close to getting that second goal, but the keeper saved them, really. Alright, that was really close, but we're able to get that match. We're able to get that, that goal, sorry. I just need them to hold on. It's just two minutes. I just need them to hold on and get the win in this match. Okay, that's good. And it's just two minutes left for extra time. And yeah, we win the match. 3-2. Kudos to Foden and Greenwood for helping us grab the win against Arsenal. Alright, so it's the match against Southampton in the AFL Cup. The last episode we actually got destroyed by Bournemouth. Sorry, in the last season we got destroyed by Bournemouth in the first round of the EFL Cup, and we shouldn't repeat that in this match. So I'm using my second team, and we actually do repeat it. We are out in the first round of the EFL Cup again, and hopefully I don't I don't forget this time and think that we won it because we didn't. We actually absolutely fucked up. Second team fucked up and we're able to get the win in our, in our own home. So that's how bad it is. So I'm going to stim all the way to this match here and we get the win against Crystal Palace. But before we end the episode, I just want to see the table. We are leading. We are undefeated as well as Chelsea, but Chelsea has had way more draws than us. So they are down in fourth position. Manchester United is doing a lot better than last season and they are second in the table, trailing me with three points and oh i mean i like this i like this i like seeing this so hopefully we can actually keep this position i mean, I mean it's really it's going to be really hard to do that even though we have beaten liverpool and manchester city 4-0 and it was a clean sheet so i think we actually have a good chance of winning the premier league in this season and that's just going to be absolutely crazy so if you guys did enjoy this video 
make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys in the next episode peace